Hey guys, this is Joe with Sample Logic, and today I am going to briefly walk through a few of the awesome features in Fanfare. I'm going to start off today with the traditional side. So as you can see, the library is divided into two categories, morphed and traditional. And inside the traditional folder, we have the individual, sectional, and stadium. So it's kind of organized by the size of the ensemble. So individual obviously meaning soloed instruments or just one performer. And in this one we actually also recorded the trombone uh, as just a bonus instrument. So we have euphoniums, mellophones, trombones, trumpets, and tubas. And then we have sectionals which is again euphoniums, mellophones, trumpets, and tubas but in smaller ensembles of uh, three to six instruments depending on the group. And then we recorded uh, at the stadium the full brass ensemble and this is really cool cluster chords and space chords and just different things where we could really capture the sound of the stadium. So that you get a better idea of what's inside the traditional instrument let's just uh, walk through here. Uh, I'm gonna go into the let's see individual uh, let's do the euphoniums and as you can see we have DIN MW what that means is it's dynamic sensitive so that the lighter you play it shapes the dynamic to where the harder you play it's like triple forte and the lighter you play the softer you know triple piano you can get to uh, and then the mod wheel is an extra feature uh, performance feature to where you can shape the volume even further using the mod wheel to get very expressive let's uh, open up let's see How about the sustain vibrato din with effects mw uh, with effects means you know just our added reverb and eq so here's an example of one of the instruments And as you can see, you know, the mod wheel and the velocity has a lot to play in the phrasing and the dynamics of the instrument. We also give you, again, the close, the mid, and the far microphones here. So you can solo just the close or just the mid and, and really have a lot of control at your fingertips uh, to dial in the instrument exactly the way you want it so that it can fit in your mix. For an extra feature, if you go to the master pan here, you can actually change the mode from individual to ensemble so that it's a very slight difference, but when you have a lot of instruments stacked, uh, if you keep them all in ensemble mode, then they all are in the position of where they would be standing on the field whereas individual mode puts everything center stage so that's just another cool little feature we have there all right so now i wanted to load up another example here this is an actual multi traditional multi called full ensemble sustain and tpt lead or trumpet lead what that means is that it is the full ensemble but as you climb the scale in this multi it slowly thins out to just the trumpet. Uh, we had this guy in the studio and he was hitting notes that I didn't even ex knew existed <laughs> on the trumpet and it's really cool because we have captured that in this library and it's got a great screaming trumpet. Let me uh, just go ahead and demonstrate that. Alright, I think you get the idea there. So yeah, so not only do we have the traditional instruments, but we also have traditional multis here, uh, which really takes it to the next level. And, you know, we have traditional, let me just go through the multis here while we're here. We have construction beds, instrument stacks, one note glories, and then the traditional. So construction beds have sound elements uh, divided over the key map. So you may have a stinger in the left hand and an ambient in the right hand and an impact in the middle. And then instrument stacks are multis that share the same key map. So multiple instruments all playing simultaneously. 
Uh, one note glories is what it sounds like. Uh, you just press one note, it's just score ready. And then traditional takes, like I said, the traditional to the next level, giving you different ensembles and new creative ideas of, of performing the full brass ensemble. All right, so now I'm gonna go through the morphed side of the library. The morph side contains three main categories, atmospheres, impacts, and instrumentals. And then inside the atmospheres folders, we have ambiences, which are score ready atmospheres, ambiences that are looped and loop forever. Very, very powerful. And we got a ton of them. So definitely check that out. And stingers are sonic instances and score ready instances that play out and do not loop. Um, so you can have the best of both worlds there. Uh, impacts, uh, you know what those are. And then instrumentals, we have arpeggiated, melodics, and pads. So let me just show you. When you go into arpeggiated, tons of instruments here. And as you can see, we have SEQ instruments, which means sequence. So there's step sequencers turned on in the instrument. And then Let's see if I can find one. We have ARG instruments, which stands for the arpeggiator, which is awesome. Let me, uh, let, I'll just open one up here for you. And you can see, so this is, this little orange thing tells you the arpeggiator's on. And this is the arpeggiator. It's extremely powerful. It allows you to have all these different effects on and turn them on and off based on different patterns simultaneously so you can have all of these effects being turned on and off let me go ahead and just play this one so you get an idea here of you know how powerful this can be you know not even from the patches that we give you but to be able to take any one of these patches and turn them into an infinite a number of sounds and you can see here it shows the effects that are being turned on so if you're on any screen you can see which effects are being arpeggiated cool so now let me just continue on here uh, so yes yeah, so we have arpeggiated melodics and pads and they're also organized similarly so melodics and pads uh, let me open up one here for you let's try breathing life one so this is a pad, let me go ahead and play it. All right, pretty cool. So now I'm gonna put some effects on it. So let's add some filter. Maybe a step sequencer, so it sounds like this. Let's turn the reverb off. Uh, Let's try turning this to LFO mode. Give it a little wobble. So, right out of the gate, you can see how much you can change any instrument. Let's try uh, adding more fade in, which will slowly evolve to a wobble. Then it starts out straight and then it wobbles. Let's give it a little bit more. Pretty cool. Uh, let's make it crunchy. Uh, so I'm going to turn the sample rate down, kind of give it a robot sound. And again, you can, you know, turn on the arpeggiators and do all kinds of crazy stuff. <laughs> I mean, there's limitless options here, uh, but you get the idea of how powerful of a tool this can be to really sculpt and change and morph the sound above and beyond the already amazing instruments that we give you. Uh, let me... So you get an idea of, you know, see the lo-fi starts and then it turns off. Uh, so yeah, definitely play around with the arpeggiator. 
All right, so that wraps up my brief walkthrough of Fanfare. I'm only really scratching the surface here, so if you're looking for more information, definitely check out the Fanfare product page. We got a lot of new videos and demo tracks on there.